Now let us discuss about JK to SR flip flop conversion. Uh, here totally we have to follow five steps. Step one is identify the available and the required flip flop. So available flip flop is nothing but input flip flop that is JK flip flop, and the required flip flop is nothing but output flip flop that is SR flip flop. Uh, the second step is construct characteristic table for the required flip flop. So required flip flop means SR flip flop. So for SR flip flop, we have to construct the characteristic table. Step three and step four is based upon the uh, input flip flop. That is nothing but available flip flop. Step three means construct excitation table for the available flip flop. That is input flip flop, JK flip flop. Step four is find the Boolean expressions for the available flip flop. So that is for the JK flip flop. So step three and step four is based upon the available flip flop, input flip flop. Whereas step two is based upon the required flip flop, that is SR flip flop. Uh, step five is we have to uh, draw the logic circuit diagram. Uh, for uh, the corresponding uh, flip flops. Uh, so, first let us see the uh, characteristic table for the required flip flop that is SR flip flop. So, here the inputs are S yes and R and QN. QN is nothing but the current state, whereas the output is that is next state output. Uh, here we have three inputs. So, totally we will have 2 power 3 that is 8 combinations. So, first one is uh, uh, decimal number 0, binary number is 0, 0, 0, 0. Next decimal number 1 binary number is 001. Likewise, the last one is uh, uh, last combination is decimal 7 binary number that is 311. So, if you observe here, if you observe the first two combinations 00 in SRF flop 00 means uh, the output is no change. Here, what is the current state? 01. There is no change here. So, current state is 0. So, the next state will also be 0. Here, the current state is 1. So, the next state is also 1 and the next two, two combinations are 0, 1. So, 0, 1 means here R value is 1. So, 1 stands for reset. Reset means output is 0. So, irrespective of the current state output, the next state output is 0. Why? Because R value is 1. R, R means reset that is 0. Next two, two combinations are 1, 0, 1, 0. So, here S value is 1. S value is 1. So, that means set. So, irrespective of the current state output, the next state output is 1. And the last two, two combinations, SRR11. One, one. So, 1, 1 means uh, we can't predict the output. So, don't care is the output. Okay. Uh, next step 3 is construct excitation table for the available flip flop that is JK. So, here QN and QN plus 1 are the inputs, whereas JK is nothing but output. If there are two inputs, then we will have four combinations. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Uh, here J means uh, J, if you observe J column, so 0, 1, 0, 1. If you observe the K column, the last two are reverse of 0, 1, that is 1, 0. And the next two are don't care, don't care. In K also don't care, don't care. So 0, 1, if you observe J column, 0, 1, don't care, don't care. Next, if you observe K column, so it is reverse of J. So that means don't care, don't care, 1, 0. So don't care, don't care, 1, 0. It is very, very easy to remember the excitation table for the JK flip flop. So, 0, 1, don't care, don't care. And K means reverse of the J column. So, that is don't care, don't care, 1, 0. So, now what we have to do is uh, based upon the excitation table, here we have to fill the uh, corresponding this table. So, here we have to take uh, JK values here. Now, we have to fill the table uh, based upon the excitation table based upon the excitation table, we have to fill the table. So, if you observe these two columns, so Q n, Q n plus 1. If Q n value is 0, Q n plus 1 value is 0, then what is the output? So, 0, 0 means 0 do not care. So, 0, 0 means 0 do not care. So, here we have one more 0, 0. So, 0, 0 means 0 do not care. Uh, next, 0, 1 means 1 do not care. 0, 1 means if Q n is 0, Q n plus 1 is 1, then 1 do not care is the output. So, 0, 1. So, 0, 1 means 1 do not care. Uh, here also uh, 0, 1. So, 0, 1. Yeah, we have only one combination. 
with 0 1 uh, next to 1 0 so 1 0 means don't care 1 so 1 0 means don't care 1 1 0 means don't care 1 yeah we have only one combination with 1 0 uh, next to 1 1 means don't care 0 1 1 means don't care 0 1 1 means don't care 0 uh, if you observe the last two, two 0 don't care here we have don't care 1 don't care here we have don't care so that's why we have to return don't care don't care don't care don't care why because here qn plus 1 value may be either 0 or 1 here we have don't care it may be either 0 or 1 so that's why the output may be either 0 or 1 so so the second step as well as third step is over step 4 is we have to find the boolean expressions for the available flip flop for for j and k we have to find the boolean expressions okay uh, here we have three inputs s r q n so s r q one so we have three inputs so that's why we have to use the three variable Karnoff map so this is for uh, j boolean expression so this uh, represents this column represents s whereas this one represents r q n okay if we observe the j column uh, here we have don't care so don't care means 0 0 1 means don't care so 0 0 1 means don't care next here also we have don't care 0 1 1 means don't care 0 1 1 means don't care next here we have uh, 1 here we have 1 1 double 0 1 double 0 means 1 1 double 0 means 1 next year we have three don't care 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 three don't care three don't care next we have to form the grouping here here we have to cover the one if the group contains more number of cells then we will get the less term so that's why it is better to make these four cells as a group uh, then the simplified expression for j is so here what is this one this one is nothing but s yes. whereas all these values are nothing but one so here the simplified expression for j is yes so likewise we have to simplify k uh, here we have don't care 0 0 0 means don't care next here we have don't care 0 1 0 means don't care next here we have 1 0 1 1 1 next here we have don't care 1 double 0 don't care next the last two two combinations 1 1 0 1 1 1 don't care 1 1 0 1 1 1 here we have to cover this one so it is better to make these four cells as a group why because if the group contains more number of cells then it will produce the less literal less number of uh, uh, literals so here s value is changing so there is no need to consider s yes. whereas coming to this one 1 1 1 0 so the first one is common so here k means r so j means yes k means r and the last step is we have to draw the uh, circuit diagram we have to draw the circuit diagram we have to draw the uh, circuit diagram so here the inputs are what are the inputs here here the inputs are nothing but jk jk are nothing but inputs and we need a clock pulse this is nothing but clock pulse and the outputs are qn qn plus 1 or we can write q q bar so qn qn plus 1 or we can write uh, uh, q q bar there is no problem we can write q q bar also q q bar uh, next uh, uh, so q is one output q bar is another output so the formula for the j is yes so j will take input from the yes next uh, the formula for the k is r k is nothing but r so k will take input from the r so this is nothing but the circuit diagram so in this way we can convert uh, uh, jk to the sr flip flop